And it was just clear Nick Cannon just paid a bunch of comics to give them jokes because they were all like, we didn't have Tony the Tiger in my neighborhood. We had Jerome the Tiger. And he's like, it sucks. And we're like, dude, this guy's a hack. Thanks for saving the segment. You're welcome. You hack. One of my favorite episodes you guys ever did is when you went through Nick Cannon's special. It, I mean, I, I sent it to Florentine. I sent it to everybody. Oh, I, dude. We sent it to me, Chad. <laughs> yeah, I like Kevin getting mad. Where the <laughs> fuck was I on that text? Story? Dude, Nick Cannon was one of him doing stand up, I would say, is one of the reasons we have our radio show. And Jay can call out any hack because, you know, he started at the Laugh House in Philly. So he started in the black scene. So he knows all those Def Jam or Comic View, like, punchline. He knows all the setups. So he can finish them as they're starting the joke. And it was just clear Nick Cannon just paid a bunch of comics to give them jokes because they were all like, we didn't have Tony the Tiger in my neighborhood. We had Jerome the Tiger. And he's like, it sucks. And we're like, dude, this guy's a hack. This guy sucks. So then we just had a real funny time. We had, like, one of the best times I've ever had making fun of his hour. And then... Pete Davidson used to open for Nick Cannon and he got us tickets at the brokerage or no, it wasn't the brokerage. It was governors. And Jay and I went and sat in the back, like clever Lang. And we watched, we just watched Nick Cannon head, like do the most pandery shit we've ever seen in our life. And at one point Jay got a slow clap to happen. He got a slow <laughs> clap. And it was honestly, I, I thought I was going to throw up. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon does this thing where it's like, at this point, he was hosting America's Got Talent. So it's like all middle-aged yeah. white people that are just in the crowd. And, you know, and he's like, being married to Mariah Carey, you know, she's the one that calls the shots. And they're like, I, I bet she does. She calls, you know, like the, the fucking suburban audience. And uh, at by one, the way, I appreciate the Rocky Three reference with Clubber Lane. Go ahead. You're welcome, Zumok. But um, he... Jay, uh, there's this part of the show where Nick Cannon like tries to get serious, and he's like, "We can end racism, man. We can end racism. Us tonight in this room, we can end racism." And Jay just stands up and just starts clapping, and dude, the whole fucking crowd started clapping, and I had to duck off. You know where the bathrooms are outside of the yeah. hallway and governors. I yeah. had to go into the bathroom because I was fucking cry laughing because I was like, dude, these fucking idiots. They're just like, yeah, yeah. And so then basically that was, yeah. So finally one episode on the bonfire, he put out a new special and Jay was like, it is fucking batshit crazy. And we just watched it. It's called broke. Stand Up, Don't Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was and was it was Nick Cannon a comic? Did he start as a comic? He said, I mean, he was on that show, all that. And he's like a child actor. I mean, the dude's like, Listen, we don't we don't just completely shit on the guy. We're like, the guy is talented. This guy couldn't have done all this shit without talent. But the fact that he's doing stand-up, you strike me as someone that would be the most fun. I'm going to start texting you when I see, like, uh, reality TV people doing stand-up because I feel like you'd be the most fun person to ha be on a you, text you're thread. You're talking about. to Adam? You, motherfucker. Uh, the most no, vicious here's the person thing. I know here's in comedy. Thing. Here's the thing. What? Here's oh, the yeah. thing. Here's my new thing. It's it's stand up. If you stand up was your second thing that you did or third thing, you're not a real stand up. So like all these guys that like yeah. Seth Meyers and all these guys are like, I'm a talk show host and now I'm doing stand up comedy. I know you got to duck out because you're friends with him, Soder. But I'm right. saying like Seth? guys you like think that. I'm friends with Seth Meyers. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so many friends with everybody. So I don't. Yeah, I don't go to the parties. I don't know who's at the parties. I, did, so, I, like, uh, you think that, I like you think I'm at the parties and not playing PlayStation at home. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, so all these guys that do it as their second or third thing, they're you're not a real stand up. And I and I I, I think I'm right just about every time. You can no, bring up right. anybody that anybody you think can think of that started second stand-up after acting or yep. writing or anything, they're all, they're not real stand-ups in my opinion. Cause they don't, they're like, I can do it. Cause anyone could do it. My fucking son could do it. I mean, Florentine's son does do it. It's like, you can train somebody to do it. You just yeah. gotta, whatever. Hey, so, uh, Kevin, just of for the record, uh, Soder was on Seth Meyers in December. Go ahead. 
<laughs> my good buddy. You know, my you know how those press you know how those press tours go when you're promoting something. All your good friends. Mm. Oh, also, uh, dude, that's hilarious. He's on his TV show. That immediately means they're best friends. You're like, what? Well, we don't go. We don't want to get. I fucking problem. paid a publicist to pump my fucking HBO special. Yo, I'm not poker I'm just, playing he's dickwad. Not, he's, not a, he's not a stand-up. He's not a stand-up. He's whatever. No, he and is. I completely agree with you. When that special came out, I'm like, dude, what the fuck is this? We don't need oh. people. We don't need people like Seth Meyers doing stand-up. We don't need oh, that. Yeah. Anytime there's someone that that does stand-up that's clearly like, I'm gonna try to do stand-up. Alana Glazer didn't need to do stand-up. You don't need to do stand-up. Let comics be comics. There's a bunch of people that miss out on work. People like Chad are getting fucked over because all these people are just like, yeah, I kind of want to do stand-up. And then they're like, hey, dude, this fucking guy from America's Funniest Home Videos is going to try to do stand-up. And Chad's like... Yeah, but Chad doesn't need them because he's making a lot on the side as an online poker player. Yeah, dude, as, as fucking... <laughs> Listen. At, at fold as fucking straight aces Zumok. Speaking of which, I opened for Todd Bridges from Different Strokes once, and it was the best <laughs> weekend of my life. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, because you probably look like a fucking god, because you could actually oh, do the job. God. Now, I went out to lunch with Todd Bridges, and we're eating together, and he goes, yeah, I took Janet Jackson's virginity. And I'm just like, this is the craziest thing ever. I have this to myself, and now I'm sharing it. <laughs> Did he just say that unprompted? Yeah, he was bragging to me. He was, like, showing off. Wait, so, like, the waitress <laughs> took the menus, and then he was like, you know, I took Janet Jackson's virginity, yeah, I think. Right? <laughs> We were kind of just talking about hooking up with chicks, and then that was just kind of um, like, oh, by the way. And I was like, that's a great by the way. Dude. And so it's like when you do road gigs with a guy and you, you know him a little bit, but then he starts telling you too much information because you're like stuck in a car with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was well, doing I, this gig. I was going up to like upstate New York before we even got to Albany. The guy goes, yeah, I can't ejaculate in my wife's vagina. I was like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Is, does Chad always dress like he's playing fucking online poker when he does his podcast? 